and welcome to Deeply Rooted Number, episode number 188. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and I am so glad that you are here. Um, On this podcast, we talk about things having to do with spirituality, creativity, the meaning of life, and how it is that we can stay grounded in our day-to-day lives while allowing our hearts and our spirits and our souls to soar in such a way that it makes a difference in the world. I'm so glad you're here. Ralph Waldo Emerson says, Dare to live the life you have dreamed for yourself. Go forward and make your dreams come true. One day, maybe not so long ago, you let go of a dream. Someone talked you out of it. You might have been facing some ridicule. Or you just got plain weary, tired, disappointed. You didn't know which way to turn, what your next step should be. Who could offer you help to really hone in on how to actualize that dream? I'm inviting you to take some time today and ask yourself, is it time to revive this dream? Or is there a new dream that is moving to the forefront of your heart? Diary of a Montessori Teacher and Creative Entrepreneur January 27th So yesterday with the co-teacher in the classroom who refuses to follow protocol for the students that need to be watched when they leave our line of sight for going to the restroom Actually, she did this non-compliant act right in front of the director. I don't even know what to say. Posted a video on three journal options for art journals, another art lesson, and recorded two more. I've put together a list of supplies for the art lesson kits and have gotten most of the items that will be in the box. Just need to get the boxes. I found a sample box that I need to pick up at Lowe's today and still need to price wood that is 24 inch by 24 inch for the art class that starts in February. I finished the craft club class and need to do week one assignment for creative selling of making a vision board. And I played around with reels on Instagram. And I'm getting contact lenses today. I miss working at Sprouts. January 28th. Getting back to doing YouTube videos has given me the courage to just go for it with creating reels. And I am determined not to filter my face. I had a well-meaning friend message me saying, you misspelled a word. And I know that she's, that that's the very reason people never start anything. I am mortified sometimes at how many times I have typos, but I also know I just have to do it and those that catch the genuineness behind the work I do will know. I'm just like you, but the things I have to share and what you have to share are more powerful and necessary for, for, for survival than a typo. By the end of the month, I will be at 190 podcasts and 190 art lessons on YouTube. By Valentine's Day, they will both be at 200. Let's see what consistency can accomplish. So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. 
There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Here are some offerings from the mystic Kabir as found in the book Love Poems from God, edited by Daniel Ladinsky. The first one is called Visiting Holy Shrines. If you circumambulated every holy shrine in the world ten times, it would not get you to heaven as quick as controlling your anger. An intelligent, rich person. I don't think there is such a thing as an intelligent, mega-rich person. For who with a fine mind can look out upon this world and hoard what can nourish a thousand souls? Professional counseling. From the ocean I heard a million fish say, give me a beer, quick. I replied, dears, how can that be? How can a fish in the water want a drink? Well, that's how wacky things have gotten. Who else but Maya could full, pull a fast one like that and get away with it? Seriously speaking, though, the fish in the water that is thirsty needs serious professional counseling. Hit the fan. When God says to God, where are you? Watch out, duck, for the shit is going to hit the fan. I would be glad. You are sitting in a wagon being drawn by a horse whose reins you hold. There are two inside of you who can steer. Though most never hand the reins to me, so they go from place to place the best they can though rarely happy and rarely does their whole body laugh feeling God's poke in the ribs if you feel tired dear my shoulder is soft and I'd be glad to steer a while soon we may be kissing there is dew on these poems in the morning and at night a cool breeze may rise from them. In the winter, they are blankets. In the summer, a place to swim. I like talking to you like this. Have you moved a step closer? Soon, we may be kissing. Well, thank you so much for stopping by today. And I hope that this um, is a space where you feel encouraged and strengthened to take on the things that you have to take on in your world. If you would like to support me in the work that I do, you can sponsor my podcast. You can uh, check out my work over on www.robinnorgren.com. You can find me on Instagram under at Robin underscore Norgren and all the links are there for all the things that I offer from creativity books to sewing kits to um, rag dolls to um, art journal kits, all of which would be greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for stopping by.